This video is meant to help you better understand your new diagnosis of colon cancer and what you can expect as part of the surgical treatment of it. What is colon cancer? The colon, also called the large intestine or large bowel, is a part of your digestive system. It is a tube-shaped organ in your abdomen that connects your small intestine to your rectum and measures about 1.5 meters or 5 feet in length. The major function of the colon is to absorb water from the stool to change its consistency from liquid to solid. Most people will, at some point, have colon polyps, growths of normal colon tissue that are not cancerous. In some people, these polyps may transform into colon cancer over the course of many years. About 15% of colon cancers are due to inherited genetic conditions, while the remainder are largely due to environmental exposure and other factors outside of your control. Colon cancer can also spread beyond the colon to other organs like the liver or lungs. Cancer cells can travel to different areas of the body through the bloodstream, but one of the first places that colon cancer spreads is the lymph nodes around the tumor. If these lymph nodes contain cancer cells, it may increase your future cancer risk. For most people, the best way to treat colon cancer is with a surgical operation to remove the tumor and the affected area of the colon. This may involve left hemicolectomy or sigmoid colectomy. Before the operation can be performed, additional tests must be conducted. You will have several routine blood tests performed before your operation to ensure that you're healthy enough to undergo surgery. You will have undergone an endoscopy to confirm the location of your tumor. Sometimes this will be repeated by your surgeon prior to your operation to confirm the location of the tumor. You will undergo a CT scan of your chest and abdomen to assess whether or not there has been any spread from your colon to other organs like your liver or lungs. There are also some things that you can do before your operation to improve your recovery. One of the best things you can do to improve your health and speed your recovery after surgery is to stop smoking. The more smoke-free time before your operation, the better your recovery will be. Talk to your family physician or surgical team if you would like to discuss smoking cessation aids. Properly managing and treating any health conditions you might have will greatly improve your recovery. Your surgical team will often request the assistance of a medical team to ensure that your medical conditions are well addressed prior to your operation. Undergoing surgery is a bit like running a marathon, so training your body for the stress of the operation is important. Everyone's recovery can be improved through exercise in the weeks leading up to the operation. Some patients may be referred to a prehabilitation program, in which they will see a psychologist, physiotherapist, and registered dietitian to help them prepare for the operation. If your tumor is located in the left side of the colon, a left hemicolectomy or sigmoid colectomy may be recommended to you. During this surgery, either the left colon or the sigmoid colon is removed. Before a left hemicolectomy or sigmoid colectomy, you may be required to cleanse your bowel with a bowel preparation similar to the one you received before your colonoscopy or a fleet enema. During the operation, you will lie on your back on the operating table, and your anesthesiologist will provide general anesthesia. Once you are asleep, a breathing tube will be placed in your throat, and a drainage tube will be placed into your bladder to monitor how much urine you're producing during the operation. This may be removed before you wake up, but may also be left in for one or two days. In almost all cases, this operation is performed through minimally invasive surgery, also called laparoscopic or keyhole surgery. Using this technique decreases your risk of infection and your level of pain after the operation. If you receive laparoscopic surgery, you will have one incision around your navel or belly button 
and three additional small incisions on the right side of your abdomen. A larger incision is usually placed above your pubic bone. These incisions may vary based on the exact location of your tumor. For some patients, it is safer to perform this operation through a traditional open incision. If this is the case, you may have an increased risk of infection and require a longer stay in the hospital after the operation. Your surgical team will discuss which method is most appropriate for you. If you are undergoing a laparoscopic left hemicolectomy or sigmoid colectomy, your surgical team will inflate your abdomen with carbon dioxide gas to create space to perform the operation. They will then insert a camera called a laparoscope into your abdomen that will allow the surgical team to see throughout the procedure. The surgeon will then remove the segment of colon with the tumor, disconnecting it from the rest of your colon. The surgeon will also remove the lymph nodes around the tumor so that they can be tested for the presence of cancer cells. If cancer cells are found in these lymph nodes, you may require chemotherapy. Once the tumor is removed, the end of the healthy colon is connected to the end of the healthy remaining colon or rectum so that your gastrointestinal tract is once again a continuous tube. Like any operation, there are risks when having this surgery. There is a small chance of infection at the surgical incision and a small chance of bleeding during the operation. There is also a small chance of a leak from the connection between the two ends of the colon. If a leak in the new connection occurs, you may need antibiotics. You may also need an additional procedure or operation depending on how severe the leak is. Sometimes a stoma may be needed. A stoma is a small opening in the abdomen where part of the intestine is brought to the skin. This opening allows for stool to empty into a collection bag. A stoma is used to help keep stool away from the new connection to allow it to heal. The likelihood of this surgery is very low, but important for you to be aware of. The intention is for this stoma to be temporary in nature. This will be further discussed with you by your surgical team. Most patients who have had a left hemicolectomy or sigmoid colectomy will recover for one to three days in hospital. While you are in hospital, any pain that you have will be managed using medication that is injected or taken as pills, depending on your level of nausea. You may be provided with a pain pump that will help you manage your pain. Your diet after the operation is completely dependent on your appetite. You can start to eat full meals on the day after surgery if you want to, though your surgical team may recommend that you start with fluids only and slowly work up to solid food. Either way, there is no risk of damage to the colon. There are no dietary or food texture restrictions after this surgery. One of the most important things you can do to help speed your recovery is to start moving around on the day after your operation. This includes getting out of bed, walking to the washroom to use the toilet, and walking around the hospital unit or hospital halls. You are safe to be discharged from hospital when you can tolerate eating and drinking, your pain is managed on oral medications, you are able to move around and support yourself safely. We do not wait for you to pass gas or have a bowel movement before you go home. This is likely to happen after discharge. After you are discharged from hospital, you will continue to recover for a few weeks at home. During this time, you may require help with housekeeping, meal preparation, grocery shopping, and childcare. You may also need time off from your work. You should not require narcotic pain medication beyond the first few days after the operation. 
Usually, over-the-counter medications like Tylenol or Advil are encouraged for any lingering discomfort. If you have pain that is not controlled with these medications, it may be a sign that you're suffering from a complication and you should return to the hospital. Once your pain is manageable with over-the-counter medications and you feel comfortable doing so, you may safely return to working and driving. Most patients return to normal activities within three to four weeks. You can start doing regular cardiovascular exercise one week after your operation. But you should avoid lifting anything heavier than 10 to 15 pounds or 5 to 7 kilograms for four weeks. After that, you can slowly work towards heavier lifting. Just remember to start low and go slow. Most patients will experience no noticeable difference in their bowel habits in the long term. But in the first six months after your operation, you may have more frequent bowel movements, usually one to two more per day than usual. Four to six weeks after your surgery, you will return to the clinic so that the surgical team can assess your recovery and discuss the results of the tests on your tumor. Certain results may mean that you require additional treatment after surgery, like chemotherapy. Your surgical team will refer you to a chemotherapy specialist if they think you may benefit from additional treatment. We understand that this is a very difficult and frightening time for you, but it is important to know that your surgical team is always ready to help you and that they want to ensure that you can continue living a healthy and happy life for as long as possible. Don't hesitate to reach out to your surgical team, family doctor, or other medical specialists if you have questions or concerns about your treatment plan.